Hey, are you not coming home today as well? This whole week you've been coming home really late or not at all. What the heck has been going on with you? Ugh. You're so annoying. Every evening going on and on like that. I'm an adult, all right? I have the right to do whatever I want, whenever I want, outside of that house. Stop acting like my dang mom. I'm not trying to question you like your mom, though. I'm questioning you like your wife, and I want to know why you keep coming home so late in the night. That's all. I'm fed up with being in that house. I don't know what it is with you wanting to save money all the time, but the only thing you talk about is saving water and saving electricity, and it's pissing me off. I'm already tired from work when I get home, and I don't need to hear anything from you besides you getting the chores done. Then when you're done using the faucet, turn it off, and when you leave the house, turn off the lights. You said you're an adult, but you're sure not acting like one. Why is it so hard for you to do the most basic things, Finn? I hate it when you always tell me what to do. If the water's still running when you go to the sink, you can turn it off yourself and boom, the water's no longer running. You don't have to call me to come over and turn it off for you. Do you have any idea who you have to thank for the life you're getting to live? You and myself, because we're both working full-time jobs. Anywho, the way you're always preaching to me has pissed me off. Tonight, I'm not coming home, so you can stop talking to me now. I'm sure you're with another woman right now, correct? Huh? You show me what evidence you have for saying that. I'm sure you're thinking you could get pretty lucky right now by divorcing me and getting a settlement if I'm cheating on you. That's the kind of scummy woman you are. All you care about is money. Whoever said all I care about is money? I want a saving money for our future. Liar. <laughs> you love money, right? You're not married to me for me, but for the money that I'm bringing in, right? And when it comes to yourself, just the other day you went out for a night on the town, right? That was just me going out with one of my girlfriends from college for some drinks. We had some things we both wanted to talk about was all. <laughs> Is that so? I guess I can understand that since the best parts of your life were back in college. I heard about how back then you were the head of your performing arts club and very popular with everyone. You're probably wanting to go out with all your old friends to reminisce about your college days since that was when you were in your prime, right? <laughs> Uh, looky there, right on the mark. <laughs> well, whatever. You're annoying me, so don't even message me anymore tonight. <laughs> hey, what is this about, Finn? I have one of your dress shirts in my hand right now, and there is red lipstick all over the collar of it. Also, there was a card from the strip club in the chest pocket. Huh? I went to the strip club as a part of my work event, and while I was there, one of the girls got her lipstick on my shirt. There are women like that in this world as well, you know. The kind that actually give a crap about what a man wants. But I'm sorry, because you can't count that as me cheating on you. <laughs> what the hell, Finn? Do you think I want you to be out cheating on me or something? Liar! I know you'd want to get a settlement from me if I were to cheat on you. That's why you keep lacking in the looks department to try and get me to move towards someone more attractive and exciting than you, right? What? I'm saying there's not a single thing about you that's attractive. <laughs> Back when you and I first started dating, you were pretty good looking and wanted to play around with me. But now there isn't even a shadow of your past self anymore, and all you do is whine and complain about me. That's part of your plan though, right? What are you talking about? That is not at all what I'm trying to do. I know the kind of woman you are. You love it when your man leaves the house and finds another woman to play with because you can get access to all their money. 
But I'm fighting back by not going out with any other woman so that you can't get to my money. It's been a hard battle for me so far, though. <laughs> Why are you totally okay with saying something that heartless to your own wife? Huh? What about that was so heartless of me? You've been making yourself look less and less attractive in order to get me to cheat on you, right? Well, I think you're doing a pretty good job of it. That is not at all what I'm trying to do, though. You are just being delusional for some reason. What? So you're not doing all of that on purpose? So what you're saying is that you just lost every single part of you that did make you attractive? What a waste you are, then! Oh, back in school, you were so good-looking, Liv. I had to put in a lot of work to get a woman like you to fall for me and then make you my wife. But now I can see that was all for nothing. How depressing! So what? You're just going to keep making fun of me and my looks for the rest of our marriage? You have changed even more than I have since college. Back then you were a gentleman and treated me like you actually wanted me to love you. But looking at you now... <laughs> I'll have you know that nothing about me has changed since my college days. I, I was just being kind to you in order to get you to love me back. I thought that because of your looks, having you as my girlfriend and wife would make me look even cooler. Yet look at how things have ended up. All you care about is saving money, saving money, saving money. You're such a boring woman now that I can't even get a hard on when I'm near you. Yeah, you really are a pile of crap then. I can't believe I ever fell for you. Hey, hey, hey. It's not my fault that you never realized who the real me was before tying the knot with me. That's all on you. I thought you were a lot smarter than this, but I guess you're nothing more than a head full of hot air. I feel like I'm being used. Actually, I've been the one using you, right? <laughs> All you ever do is call people idiots, stupid, and dumb. Do you really think that you're that smart of a man yourself? Well, you are an idiot, right? You can't even understand concrete facts without needing someone to help explain them to you. And what kind of concrete facts are you talking about? I guess I have no choice but to explain them to you. Are any of my things still in that house there? What? Take a look in the bedroom. The only things that are left of the things I didn't need are the things that were yours. And that dress shirt you have with the lipstick stains? I don't need it anymore, so you can toss it. What are you saying, Finn? What are you planning on doing? You should know by now, right? I ran away from you and will never be coming back to you or that house again. I've had it up to here living in the same house as you, the most boring and basic looking woman out there. My status has not gotten any better being your husband, and the only thing I've gained is stress. So you have had another woman. You asshole. But is it really okay for you to be confessing to something like that right now? Yeah, it's fine because I'm running away from you forever! <gasps> oh, that's right, there's one other thing I forgot to mention to you. That $100,000 that you've been saving up, her and I will be using it. We're both getting the heck out of here and we'll never be seeing you again. Go right ahead and use it, but I'm not going to bother with you ever again then either. Perfect! Bye-bye! Liv! He just fell asleep and it didn't look like he's able to hear me, so I got away. Once he wakes up, he'll never be able to find me. Screw him, right? You did it? Oh, things went just as we had planned. Oh, thank you so much, Penny. By the way, Liv, I cannot believe you lasted a whopping 10 years married to a piece of work like that guy. I was only with him for a couple of days and he was already making me want to go and off myself. That's how bad of a person he is. 
At the start, things were all right, actually. But as he and I began to grow older, he started to become more and more grumpy around me. I was never able to figure out what his true intentions were, so I take full responsibility for that. He's really left a stain on my life. I guess he does look like an alright guy on the outside, right? I was thinking that same thing when he and I first met. But it didn't take long before I realized that all he did was judge others and talk crap about them. He seems to think that he's the only intelligent person around and that everyone else is an airhead or something. I know, he was always calling me things like brainless and dumb. That's why I thought it was time for me to teach him a lesson. One that he would regret for the rest of his life. I'm sorry that this required you to have to deal with him for a bit, but thank you. Hey, it's alright, you don't have to feel sorry for me. You have done so much for me so far. And what I've done for the last time ended up helping you a whole bunch, which I'm very happy about. The last time, huh? So you really are quitting then? I am. And that's because I don't really have the brains that you have. I know that this is going to suck, but I have to quit. I'm not all that smart. Anyway, have you been doing alright safety-wise? I have been. He's been trying to look like a gentleman this whole time. And because he's been so madly in love with me, there's no way he'd do anything to upset me. Although all those feelings of his really make me want to vomit in my mouth right now. I'm happy to hear that you're still safe. Then please be careful as you run away from him. I will. I didn't bring my driver's license with me though, so I had to call a taxi to come get me and then I'll be out of here. I've also got all the evidence that we need, so when you need it, please let me know. Thank you so much for getting that for me. I promise to make this all up for you later. Now, please have a safe trip home. Will do. I'm glad to hear that everything I did today really helped you out, Liv. Hey, the door isn't opening and my key won't work on this lock. What's going on here? You're inside the house still, right? Get over here and open the door for me right now! I went and had the lock changed so that the key in your hand isn't going to work anymore. And by the way, weren't you running away from me forever? I came back to this house, right? Now shut up and open the dang door! You couldn't even stay away from the house for one day, so what ended up happening with the other woman? Could it be that the other woman ran away from you? <laughs> She did not do that! Now shut up and get this dang door open! If it wasn't for me, then you would never be able to manage on your own, so let me back inside! I think I can manage by myself, though. I happen to have a lot of money still in my savings. In my case, I don't really even need someone like you in my life anymore. So could you please leave me alone and go find a new place to crawl into for the night? You! If that's how you're gonna backtalk me today, then I'm gonna make you regret ever opening your mouth. I have your checkbook. Do you really want me to go to the nearest bank to pull out all of that hundred thousand dollars you've saved up and then run away from you? Go right ahead then, Finn. Please, go and take out as much of that money as you need. You! You think you could just sass me all you want because I was the one that left the house? Open this damn door while I'm still being nice to you. I don't want to open that door, though. I've already decided that I'm going to divorce you, so there's no reason to let you back inside. That's right. I'll hand you the divorce forms through the house's mail slot, so go ahead and sign them, and then take them to the courthouse for me. This is your last chance, Liv. If you unlock this door right now, I will forgive all that sass you've just given me. Forgive me for what? <laughs> you were the one that left me for another woman, right? If anything, it should be you asking me for forgiveness right now after pulling a stunt like that. Alright, I get it. This now means that a hundred thousand dollars you went and saved up the past couple of years is all mine now. 
I'll make sure to use it with great appreciation to you. Go ahead then. Yo! What the hell is going on here? Why is there nothing left in your savings account? Ah, that's because a couple of days ago I went and transferred all of that money out of that account. I know that we'd been using it as a shared account, but you never put any of your money in there, and before getting married it was mine. So that checkbook you have of mine is nothing more than a stack of papers now. You! You went and did something like that without even getting my approval first? And you went and ran off with another woman without ever getting my approval for that first. Now we're even. You're gonna get it. You, I'm gonna sue your ass. I'll make sure all of that money comes back to me. Goes back to you? <laughs> this is all the money that I've been saving up over the years, so how come it would be going back to you? It was never yours in the first place, Finn. Also, when you say that you're going to sue me, don't you mean that I'm going to be suing you? Huh? And what reason do you have for doing that? Well, you did cheat on me with another woman and then tried to run off with her, right? That really broke my heart into multiple pieces. So now I have the right to sue you and get a settlement for what you did to me and this relationship we had. Then show me the evidence you have of that. Sure, I did say to you that I was running off with another woman, but that was just a simple joke. And I was back within 24 hours of saying that, right? So you don't have any proof of me being with another woman and doing anything with her. Hmm. You really think calling what you told me before a joke is going to work with the judge? <laughs> I don't have to prove anything to the judge because I'm telling the truth. And I know that the only reason you're trying to get this divorce now is to try and take all my money because money is all you care about. I will not allow that to happen, though. <laughs> Show me right now what evidence you have of me cheating on you, you idiot. <laughs> I have the evidence right here if you're really wanting to see it. What? I can send it to you all right now if you want, so have a look if you're brave enough. Hey. Wh why How? Why do you have pictures like this of me on your phone? I was able to get them from the woman you ran away from me with. She wasn't really that into you in the end, and she felt very sorry about me. So after she ran away from you, she got in touch with me and sent me all these photos. Dad. Bitch! Not only did she go and steal my car, but she went and stabbed me in the back as well! She stole that car from you? Uh, didn't you tell her that you gave her that car? That makes the car hers, and she could do whatever she wanted to with it. You! Why do you know about that? We don't have to worry about that right now. I'm going to be suing you for what you've done. And that means I will be using all of the evidence at my disposal. No, none of this is gonna work as evidence. I guess there were some pictures in here of me at a hotel, but... But these are all photos taken of me when I was away on a business trip. Huh? Are you sure? The hotel was packed, so there was only one room open for all of us to get into. And during our time in that room, my co-worker went and took that photo with me for fun. I love hearing just how far you can take some of these lies, Fen. I'm not lying, though. And it's not like there's anyone else in these pictures, right? Just me and the hotel room. Show me the evidence you have that proves a woman was taking these. Hmm. All right, then listen to this audio recording for me. Audio recording? What? You were even able to get a recording of us? And as you can tell by the recording, you were having a lot of fun telling that other woman you loved her so much. And since there's no background noise, that basically proves that you were alone in the same room with her. So what do you think? Do you still have any excuses to try and bail yourself out with? 
No! It, this is all... All you're going to be doing to yourself by continuing with the excuses is making yourself look like a sore loser. Hurry up and just confess to what you've been doing. Jesus. I cannot believe that a recording like this was taken while I was there. Uh, how embarrassing for us. Well, this was just me and one of my female co-workers role-playing. Uh, we were doing a gag of a man trying to flirt with a woman he saw at the bar. <laughs> you sure? One of my female workers was wanting to know what it felt like to be talked to by a man that was into her, so I thought I'd help show her what it could be like. <laughs> it was kind of like practice for her so that she could prepare herself for future encounters, you see. That's why I was talking to her like that. That recording you have is from that moment when we were role-playing. I didn't think that anyone was actually recording us then, though. She must have wanted to listen to it again later on for more practice. <laughs> no matter what you have to say about this, you seemed very serious about the things you said to her, and even more serious about the responses you gave to her opening up. I told you that we would just role-play in! Maybe she was being serious then, because I do happen to be a pretty affectionate guy. But I was just performing my role then, and I wanted to take it very seriously, for her sake. I'm happy to hear from you, though, that it sounds very real. Things have gotten pretty enjoyable now. I would love to see how much further you could use that excuse, but I have to end the fun here. So I'll give you the last piece of evidence that I have. What? If you had freaking video of what happened, you should have showed me that from the start. And as you can see from that video recording, you can be seen going into that hotel with a younger girl and taking her up in that hotel room. And in the video, we can luckily hear you talking to her all the way up to the room about how you were going to do what? Uh, rearrange her guts? There's also the date and time shown on the video, and it shows this all went down yesterday night. So what kind of an excuse are you going to try on me this time? Even for a smart man like myself, I know there's no way of getting out of this. So you're finally giving up then? Then leave it to me to make sure you get sued hard in court. Not only do I have the evidence of you cheating on me, but I also have the evidence of you trying to steal my money, and of all the terrible things you've said to me along the way. I'm taking bets right now for how much money I'll be able to get from you in court. What do you think? Hey, but even after all that, I came back to you, right? I've learned my lesson! I'm serious! And who do you think is going to believe that? <laughs> Just a second ago, you were still trying to lie to me about what happened. <laughs> that was just me trying to protect myself. That's something I'm always doing, right? I don't mean to lie, but I just do when it's about protecting myself. I have a lot of pride, and that means I have to protect it at all costs. Especially when I'm being talked poorly about. So you know yourself better than anyone else. That's right, I do. So... So you think you've learned your lesson, too? I'm not so sure about that. Give me one last chance! I can't pay off something like a settlement right now! I promise to turn the way I act around you around, and then I'll be more serious! Just to let you know, I'm already in talks with my lawyer, so no matter how much you try apologizing to me, it is no use at all. Okay. If you still feel that you need to apologize to me, then be my guest. I won't stop you. Your lawyer? I get you changing the lock on me and such, but why are you already in the talks with a lawyer? Also, why do you have this kind of evidence on your phone? Like I told you, that woman you were with felt bad for me, and that's why she ran away from you last minute and told me what happened. She even apologized to me properly for what she'd done, so I forgave her. She's a very responsible woman. She was the one who approached me first, though! 
I even told her that I was married and didn't want to do anything. Yet you still think she's a good person for what she did? We can never know for sure why some people do the things they do. And in her case, she had a lot going on inside her head at the time. Something about this is not right. You don't tell me that she was your accomplice in all of this. What? Now, why would I ever have an accomplice? <laughs> Wasn't it you that wanted to do all of that with her in the end? <laughs> I never asked her to do anything with you. <laughs> Penny, you really helped me out a ton this time, so thank you. Because of all that evidence you got from me, I was able to tear Finn a new one, and things are looking good for me when I take this to court. Don't worry about it. I'm just happy that I could be of some help to you. You've always been a very good friend of mine. I wasn't really going to ask for any money at the start of all this, but he was a real pain in the butt to deal with, so I just had to take a little bit from you. I totally understand that. I asked you to do one of the worst jobs imaginable. I had a look at the video you took, by the way, and you really put on one of the best performances I've ever seen. You looked so natural that for a little bit there, I thought you were actually into him. I guess that's why you became an actor and not me. What are you saying? You were the one that taught me all about acting in the first place, and that's how I became so talented. You were the head of the performing arts group for three years there, so you should know all of that performance was because of you. You are being way too kind to me. And like I was saying, I'm not the one that actually became an actor, right? You're the one living life as a celebrity, and I've just been sitting around working in an office job. Also, you have that really big movie coming up, right? All I've done to get here is just show up to work and audition for things I think I might be good at. I don't think that makes me a good actor, or I guess actress, or anything. Also, I'm quitting now, right? And one thing I wasn't wanting to bring up is that Finn was the one that took away your future of becoming an actress yourself, right? I will never forgive him for that. But I think you quitting is a waste of such good talent. I think you have a far wider set of skills that most people don't have that allows you to fit into so many roles. Come on now, come on. Then why did you end up quitting your job as an actress? You are far more competent than I am and have always been better at performing any role. We both know this, everyone does. I know that everyone always said that about me, but that was just everyone being kind. To me, I didn't think that I was as good as the rest of you in that group and knew that me taking a role in someone else's creation meant one of you couldn't. That's why I chose to quit when I could so that all of you who I knew were better than me could succeed. To put it bluntly though, I ran away. You ran away? Then why did you continue working as my private instructor? Well, I still love things like the performing arts, but I thought I'd be more fit as someone's teacher rather than the performer themselves. That's why every chance that I got, I came to mentor you and make sure you were okay. But it's not like you needed my help by the time we both graduated from college because you had already surpassed me. No, wait, that's not... That's why I sometimes never viewed myself as your teacher, but as your supporter. I may have helped you get to where you were, but I wasn't the one doing all the hard work for you. That's... Well, I suppose that's true. I mean, look at what happened this time. You were able to perform your job as an actress so well that you pulled off a job that even I couldn't have done, all without needing to rely on me for anything. You need to have confidence in yourself, not just for yourself, but for me as well. All right? Okay. If the person I've always looked up to is saying that, then I'll be more confident in myself. I guess I won't quit just yet, and we'll take this career a little bit further. I think after this movie releases, you'll have to. <laughs> and if you ever need anything from me, just let me know. After that, I went and took Finn to court and won the case without even having to question anything. Although there was one thing that happened towards the end of the case that I will never forget, and that was the face Finn made when he realized it was all over. He was trying to lie once again and make excuses for all the things he had done with Penny at the hotel, but by the time he realized nobody was buying it, not even his own lawyer, he looked over at me with that pale face. 
Before the judge made his final judgment, Finn came over to the desk that I was at with my lawyer and started to break down, asking me with all his heart for forgiveness. But instead of saying anything back to him, all I did was give him the middle finger. <laughs> he was then taken back to his side of the courtroom, where we then got to listen to what the judge had to say. In the end, I was able to get a massive settlement from him that he would never be able to back away from. I was not only able to win a settlement because of him cheating on me, but I was also awarded a second one for his attempt at stealing my money. Those both left him having to pay me $25,000, and with the divorce, he would also be given nothing at all. A week later, I received that money, and since that day, I have never had to think about him again. I found out later that based off what all had happened, Finn's workplace found out and the news spread to everyone. He was not laid off or anything when his bosses and everyone found out, but he did start to get treated like he wasn't even there, as everyone in the office ignored him with disgust. And not too long after having to live through that, Finn went and quit his job there before leaving the small apartment he'd been renting and running off. It seems that the pressure he received after being exposed for the way he was treating his wife and about how he tried to steal all of his wife's money from her bank account started to teach him the lessons I was waiting for. Right now, he's moved back in with his parents and is helping them both out on their farm, living a much simpler life, where he'll have all the time in the world to keep regretting what he had done. As for myself, I started to live life as a single woman again, and since I was now completely free again, I went and quit my company job. I moved away from the house that both Finn and I had shared while we were married, and with the money I had won and the savings I had, I moved out to California to be closer to Penny and a couple other of my old friends from college. Now I'm working in performing arts again, as an on-hand assistant for a set in Hollywood, where Penny is currently working as well. I'm not making nearly as much as I was back at the office job I had, but I'm able to enjoy the things I love a lot more often, and I think that that's a very good payoff. The movie that Penny debuted in ended up being a massive hit, and now she's being asked to play in another movie by that same director. She was even invited to a ceremony for actors and actresses later that year, and she said she'd be bringing me along as her plus one when the time came. She will still be working close to the same set that I'm at, so I'll be able to watch her from the back as she does what she does best, and that is acting. She knows that I'm working near her now, and I made sure to tell her that if she ever needs any confidence boosting, to come over and let me handle it. Thank you for watching and listening. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Also, feel free to leave a comment about what you thought of the story. We look forward to seeing you at the next story.